Hi guys, I tidy the, the garage, uh, the sh workshop a little bit so I can have more space to work on my project. Uh, now we're still in lockdown because of the virus, so uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna move on on the go kart and the buggy, and maybe I'm gonna start uh, painting it. Uh, first, what I'm gonna to, to, to try to do, I'm gonna test in the small part. I'm gonna test uh, something that I have. I have a sand blaster that I want to use to see if I can use it to prepare for paint. So let's go do it. didn't work very well so I'll try a different tool nah. maybe I will use it just to remove some rust but just clean it I'm gonna clean it and paint it all over it I already start to dismantle the cart to test the to start to paint. Now I'm gonna grind the the surface a little bit in order to test some some paint. So let's go. Main frame is painted. I think it looks very good. 
very very good some places are better than, than the others but in general they are the paint is very good very very good now what i'm doing let me show you i'm painting the wheels the wheel they are painted red uh, if you remember originally they were orange I had to polish this, I have to grind this a little bit and then I paint it red but this the red paint I have it's it's not very good but it's what I have so I'm gonna use it and then we'll see if I will buy a new paint or something now I'm gonna start to dismantle the back part of the cart in order to reinforce the welds and then to paint it all so let's go I finished painting the, the primer, now I'm gonna paint it with the final color like I painted the front part of the frame. So let's go! Hi guys, uh, as we finished the, the painting job, now we are going to start reassembling the cow cart. So let's go do it. Hey guys, I have already assembled a lot, I put the shocks, painted them green, I think they look fine, front wheels, I think it looks very good, now I'm gonna mount the, the brakes, and then I'm gonna do something about the seat, you will see, you will see. Hi guys, 
the buggy is pretty much reassembled. Now I wanted to do something about the seat. So my idea is to use the this piece. It's not very clear. The seat is underneath. And I want to use this piece of kind of leather. It's not kind of leather. I use the, the, this to um, to cover the, the my dog's uh, house. And I'm, yeah, I have enough, so I'm gonna use this also to cover my seat. So let's do it. I secured the borders with uh, these uh, these things, these retainers. I'm gonna see how it goes and trim it, and then install it. Let's see how it went. I think it's acceptable. I'm gonna trim it a little bit. Hi guys, so the go-kart buggy is pretty much finished, so I'm gonna show you, but more or less this is quite finished. The engine, the shocks that I show you that I painted green, the brake caliper, I had to change it to back to the old one because the new setup uh, was not uh, getting uh, enough powering stop so for now I'm gonna use the old uh, setup uh, which is working fine in fact so let's continue the seat it looks like crap <laughs> but uh, I think it will do for now uh, the, for the front part of the frame these weights, I still did not test it. If uh, they work, they, they make their purpose. But we'll see. The wheels painted red. And then the drivetrain. I, I don't know if I already have shown you the, the new um, tensioner, chain tensioner. What I did, I put um, a spring here. And then I, the adjuster with a nut, if I want to give more tension, I'll just tighten this nut. It's working very good. And then the roller itself is tightening the, the chain, the, the, the clutch. Actually, I don't know. I, maybe I'll, um, I, don't, I will try a different clutch. Because I think this is getting a little bit hot. But I don't know. We'll see if I put a torque converter or something like that. But now... Everything is set up, everything is good, so I just need to wait that the virus and the crisis uh, stops in order to get this to the street and the woods and really give you a test. So, let's wait and I hope you all are all fine 
and see you next time and thank you very much for your support and thank you very much for watching so see you next time bye bye